All right. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Mark Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. And today is Tuesday, and July 26th. So we can do got a little bit of economic news releases scheduled for today. This will be a very volatile week. Uh, some on the economic news releases, and of course, the biggie that everybody's watching is the debt ceiling. So let's take a look here, uh, see what the uh, releases are. Uh, we'll start off with the case Schiller home prices. Uh, last month, they were at 0.6%, uh, they, and it came in at 0.1%. So we home, had home prices um, jump up a little bit, so that's kind of good news, two months in a row. Uh, next one is ho new home sales. See where we went with new home sales. Uh, we were at uh, 319 and went down to uh, 325. I believe uh, June was actually, re or no, that, yeah, June was revised, so... Uh, we were estimated to go up to 325, but actually took a dip down to 312. So not so good news on the new home sales. Uh, maybe it might pick up later on. I do know from my end of things, being a mortgage originator, that I do see a lot of pick up in the pre-approval department, seeing quite a few more offers being sent out. So maybe we'll see that over the next couple of months, uh, uptick in that. Uh, consumer confidence uh, came in at, actually that one was what was reduced uh, for June, 57.6, uh, when it was around 58 and change. Uh, they figured it would drop a little bit, but actually it went up 59.5, so I guess some people are feeling pretty good out there. That's kind of good news. Uh, so we'll take a look here at the headline news. Uh, stock market's down this morning, and that's all because all eyes are on the debt ceiling crisis. Uh, this is uh, weighing on the traders' minds, everybody's minds, and everybody would like to get this done. So, so we can get this taken care of, some type of resolution, move forward. Uh, we can get this volatility out of the market. So let's take a look at the interest rates and what bonds are doing. Um, as we saw, we had this nice huge increase, and we lost all those gains back down to where we start off. So we actually had a uh, worsening in interest rates. Today we start off the same place, but we're up about 22 basis points. So the question will be, will we be able to maintain that like we would, like yesterday? Uh, yesterday, obviously we lost all of it. So will we lose it today, or will it gain back? So essentially, what you're saying here is, there uh, the traders are pricing in a default uh, and worse grading for our system. So they're tr automatically trying to price that into their trades, and that's what we're seeing. Uh, worse higher interest rates and uh, obviously uh, lower stock market. So it's important to get this resolved. So, uh, But that's the news for today, and I'll catch you tomorrow. Uh, meanwhile, if you guys are looking to buy a home or if you guys are looking to refinance, check out my website at CaliforniaMortgageTips.com, and there's a lot of great reports on there. Hopefully I'll hear from you guys soon. You guys have a great day.